The dreaded day is finally here. It is cut day in the NFL. A lot of young rookies, a lot of undrafted free agents. A lot of people are having their dreams cut short today. Who did the Bears cut and who made our 53-man roster? What's up, guys? I'm back with another Bears off-season update video. We are only like eight days away at this point from the regular season starting, okay? Eight days away. Well, actually, let me, let me say seven, okay? Because it's Saturday night when I'm recording this. So in a week, pretty much, we are going to be taking the field against Detroit. I mean, it blows my mind because... It just literally does not feel like football season is actually starting. Like, we didn't have any preseason games. With all this craziness due to COVID, I didn't get a chance to go to training camp like I have the past, like, 10 years. So, it's all pretty crazy, all pretty insane. But football is football, and I'm so glad that it's finally going to be starting. But uh, in this video, guys, I want to go through all the roster cuts that we made today. So, the Bears had to reduce their roster to 53 men today. So, sadly, we had to, you know, get rid of some guys, some younger guys, uh, some veterans as well that... You know, Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy just decided that they're not going to be best um, on our team moving forward. So I wish all these guys the best of luck, but let me announce all the people that got released. I'm not going to go through every single one and break it down because that would take hours and hours, but I will go through some of the more surprising ones at the end. So here's the list of everybody that got cut. And by the way, I'm reading this list from Deshai Bears News on Instagram. So go follow him for more Bears content. Uh, he also runs the Bear Down podcast. So shout out to him for uh, providing this list, but... Pretty much, okay, so Napoleon Maxwell, Artavis Pierce, Jesper Horstead, Rodney Adams, Reggie Davis, Alex Wesley, Ahmad Wagner, Thomas Ives, Lachavia Simmons, Sam Mustafer, Badora uh, Triori, sorry if I mispronounced that, Corey Levin, uh, Dieter Iceland, Lee Autry, Trevin McSwain, Abdullah Anderson, Ladarius Mack, LaCale London, Isaiah Irving, Rashad Smith, Keandre Jones, Steven Denmark, Xavier Crawford, Kevin Tolliver, and Cairo Santos have all been cut from the Chicago Bears. Now, although all these players did get cut, it's important to keep in mind that we can re-sign 16 of these players back to practice squad. So don't think that we're going to just lose all these players. I'm a good portion of them. Maybe not a good portion, but some of them are going to be coming back to us on a practice squad deal. You know, if a different team does not pick them up. So that's the key there, okay? Every other team is going to get a chance now. To sign any of these guys but if nobody actually signs them you know we can have them back here in Chicago and an important distinction I have to make is that this year the practice squad was increased to 16 men so usually it is 10 men but because of COVID because of all the craziness regarding COVID you know they added six men to our roster I'm um, in practice squad so that is truly gonna help because we're gonna be able to keep six more guys that originally you know we would not have been able to so don't be saying goodbye to all these players just yet because some of them could be coming back now let me quickly go through like my most surprising cuts so i wasn't all that shocked at most of these cuts you know most of them we could see coming most of them you know a lot of us had predicted but some players like kevin tolliver for example okay i was extremely surprised to see kevin tolliver cut this guy has been in the system for a couple of years now you know all coaches had really good things to say about him a lot of people are predicting that he could be you know, challenging for that number two cornerback spot opposite of Kyle Fuller, you know, give Jalen Johnson a run for his money, but it looks like the rookie is running away with it. And, you know, the Bears thought that Kevin Tolliver really does not have a place on this team. Now, cutting a guy like him does worry me because at this point, we don't have much outside corner depth at all, okay? We only have Kyle Fuller and Jalen Johnson as true outside corners because behind them, the only other cornerbacks on this roster are Duke Shelley, uh, Buster Screen, and Kendall Vildor. Now, Kendall Vildor potentially could be an outside corner. I think he does have um, some experience playing that in college. But in my opinion, he's more of a slot. But obviously, the Bears could be thinking something else. So maybe Kendall Vildor. But guys, you know, we got rid of Trey Roberson, the CFL star. Um, Artie Burns got injured. So if Kyle Fuller or Jalen Johnson are to go down, I'm pretty worried about our depth on the outside. Now, fortunately for us, though, you know, a lot of outside corners were cuts today. So... We could be picking up, you know, any of these guys from the respective teams. For example, Prince of Mukamara, okay? Maybe get Prince back on a cheap deal. I know a lot of people would not be a fan of that, but guys, Prince has a lot of experience in the system. He is maybe washed up to some extent, but just having him here as depth, you know, I would feel pretty good about that because currently we don't have any other good options at all. So maybe Prince could be coming back on a cheap deal, but I'm still kind of shocked at this Kevin Tolliver decision because, again, like this guy had also played in games for us he didn't look like spectacular or anything but he was holding his own 
and still pretty young with a lot of potential. So he is probably going to get picked up pretty fast. You know, we're probably not going to see this guy sign back to practice squad, most likely. Another pretty interesting drop was Jesper Horsted. Okay, we saw last year, um, one of the few tight ends that didn't make plays on the receiving end of things was Jesper Horsted. You know, we saw that crazy catch he had against the Lions last year. We saw him make some acrobatic circus catches in preseason before, but also in the regular season as well. Like, this guy was a pretty good receiving tight end. But the Bears instead gave the fifth tight end spot to Eric Saubert over him. Now, I am not the biggest fan of this move because I think that Jesper Horstead would have been a better option than Eric Saubert. But obviously, you know, I'm not the coach here, okay? I don't have access to these players, to their tape, you know, seeing how they were doing in practice. So maybe Eric Saubert did have a better training camp than Jesper Horstead. But either way, man, it's tough to see Jesper go because I truly was excited at the level potentially showed, you know, in glimpses last year. So Jesper should be getting picked up pretty soon as well. You know, he's a pretty talented guy, so... I don't see Jesper coming back to us unless, you know, a miracle happened. Now, Isaiah Irving also does surprise me to some extent because this guy has been on the team for the last couple of years. Um, a special team standout, really. So on special teams, he has been pretty decent. Not really making that much of an impact as a linebacker, but on special teams, he was pretty valuable to our team. But it looks like he was also injured, so it looks like that might have factored into the decision. So Irving should find a home pretty soon as well. One guy that I'm not necessarily shocked they got cut, but kind of just sad over it, is Ladarius Mack, okay? The little brother of Khalil Mack. I mean, I made a whole video on this guy talking about his potential, his story, um, how he kind of came to where he is right now. So I was truly rooting for this guy, okay? I thought that he might be on special teams. I knew that most likely he wouldn't be, you know, making any type of impact on the 53-man roster as a linebacker because he's just not there yet, okay? He's super raw, needs a lot of coaching. So I knew it was a long shot at best for him to make the roster, but I thought he could do it on special teams. But unfortunately, that is not the case, okay? So the little brother of Khalil Mack was not good enough to get a roster spot. Now I sincerely hope we do sign him on practice squad. Um, I think that there's a decent chance he does make it back to us. You know, it is possible that some team just looking at his last name could claim him because, guys, he's a little brother of Khalil Mack. So maybe just based on his last name, uh, his potential, you know, some team could pick him up, but... Hopefully that is not the case. Hopefully it does go back to us. But yeah, like besides that, I'm honestly not too surprised at the other cuts. Uh, maybe a guy like Artavis Pierce, given our low running back depth, that is kind of surprising because now we have even less running back depth. So I truly do not know what the Bears are going to do at the RB spot if David Montgomery's injury lasts longer uh, than expected. So still super worried about a running back room. Uh, Lachavius Simmons is a guy that we drafted this year. Now, he should be coming back on uh, practice squad, so not too worried about that, but might surprise some people. Dieter Eason, the offensive lineman from South Africa, I think he played rugby. Okay, this guy had a tremendous story. Um, a lot of people were, you know, rooting for him, obviously, based on his story. And his incredible, you know, raw talent, but it looks like that raw talent is not translating to anything right now. So, Dieter Eason was also cut. Maybe it could be a practice squad um, addition. Steven Denmark, our seventh round pick from a couple years ago, this guy was a hybrid cornerback and safety, but it seems like he's not really making any progress towards any of those positions. So maybe he could be another practice squad stash, but at this point in his career, guys, who actually knows? So, you know, let me know what you guys think about all these cuts down below in the comments. I mean, not too many surprising ones besides, you know, um, Kevin Tolliver, obviously, and maybe Artavis Pierce and Jesper Horstead, you know, guys that could have been very solid for depth, but looks like Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace are not too satisfied with them. So, oh yeah, also I completely forgot to talk about Cairo Santos, our kicker. So, we cut this guy as well, but most likely he is going to be coming back to us on a cheaper deal um, or just on practice squad because, as to my knowledge, Eddie Pinero is still not ready to start the season, okay? He hasn't kicked very much at all. I don't believe he's kicked at all, actually. Uh, so far in training camp because he is dealing with a groin injury and that has really been affecting him a lot so far so Eddie Pinheiro might begin the year on IR unfortunately and we might have to roll with Cairo Santos for at least you know the first couple weeks so that is a situation to monitor um Cairo Santos should be coming back so don't worry about him getting cut but yeah it's pretty much going to wrap up the video leave your comments down below and as always bear down <laughs>